Yo, what is going on? It is your boy, the $20 bill, coming at you with a new CSGO investment video. Now, in the last video, I got comments such as, what are some items I should stock up on? And also, what are some good skin investments before Source 2 comes out? So in this video, I want to go over my experience with skins that have done very well for me as an investment. Now, I want to take a quick minute to thank everybody for the support on the last video. Um, That was probably the best performing video I ever posted on this channel. Also, I got the most amount of subscribers on it. It's been pretty, it's been pretty amazing to say the least. So I just want to thank everyone out there, even if you didn't subscribe or like, I still appreciate you being here. And let me know on this video, what are some good skin investments you've made, even if you made a few dollars on it. I would still like to know like a skin you bought that actually ended up doing well, had good return on investment. It's always a good time to hear about that. Anyway, enough waffling. Now I'm not going to tell you all what you should buy in the game. I want you all to make that informative decision on your own. Then I'll talk about skins that I bought that have done very well for me and you might see a repeating pattern throughout the video. Now I'm gonna start with the Aquamarine Revenge. This is an AK I really like actually. It's a factory new one. Now I bought the AK without the stickers on it. I actually applied these myself and I bought the AK for like $50. The stickers at the time I don't remember, they might've been like $5 each. But as you can see, the Aquamarine Revenge has been doing really well since I bought it. It is up to $74. So because of that, me buying the stickers, I actually still made a little bit of profit, even though I would probably never sell it. I love the AK. But as you can see, it's a skin that constantly keeps going up. So I think that's a good investment and I'm proud of that investment that I've made. Next, we have the M4A1S print string. This is a stat track one. Now, going back to the topic of good skin investments before Source 2 comes out, a lot of people are banking on the pearlescent skins. Most importantly, the uh, print stream collection. Since the new engine is gonna have a new lighting system, people think that the print streams are gonna pop more, be more pearlescent than they already are. So it could be a good investment, it might not be, but I still think print streams are a pretty solid skin to get. I bought mine for $150 and it came with the face stickers already applied on it. They are Stockholm phase hollows. And as you can see, it's gone up a little bit. It's gone up to $181. The print stream is also from the broken fan case that might play a role into it. It's a discontinued operation case. So skins from those cases are usually pretty solid investments to begin with. Then you add the pearlescent uh, source 2 craze into the mix. I mean, yeah, this is a... Uh, Pretty much the result of that so if you do want to invest in the print stream it might be a good one it might not be a good one it's a gamble like every other investment in the game the op containment breach is honestly a very nice skin it's a green op there's not too many green ops in the game so i mean this is already a pretty good skin actually i have no idea how many green ops are in the game is this like the only one i have no this is a minimal wear one. The stickers were not on it when I bought it. I applied the stickers myself. When I bought this, it was around $70. Stickers were like 4 to $5 each. Nowadays, you can get yourself a minimal wear op containment breach for around $113, $114. Once again, one of those skins that like constantly go up in value because it was part of an operation case, like the last skin. Very nice op, one of my favorites in the game. On to the next one. The AK-47 Vulcan. This one is minimal wear. And I bought it with four of the Cloud9 foils from MLG Columbus. You can't tell I'm a huge MLG Columbus fan. But I bought this one for almost $400. I think it was like $398 with the stickers already applied on it. So I bought it for 25% sticker price at the time. Because at the time, these were selling for around... I think they were around $360 when I bought it. And it came with the stickers on it. So I, pay, I overpaid for it. <laughs> yeah, it was around uh, $360 at the time of buying it. And nowadays it sells for $425. I bought this like not even two months ago, by the way. And it's already up this much. On top of that, mine's a good float. So it doesn't even sell for the market value. It's not that crazy, never mind. Yeah, there's not much to say about the Vulcan. I mean, it's just an iconic AK skin. I really like the Vulcan. I'm glad I have one. And it's been working out great ever since I bought it. All right, for the last two skins, I didn't actually buy them. I actually hit them in a trade up. We're going to start with the fuel injector AK-47. This is a factory new uh, fuel injector. I hit it in a 15% uh, trade up for it. The trade up cost me around $90. And at the time of getting this skin, it was worth 200. So I turned 90 into 200 and now it sells for $402. <laughs> Holy crap. Fuel injector is just such a solid skin. It's been a great investment ever since I hit it in the trade up. I really enjoy it. Very big wins on that one. I also applied the stickers myself after uh, hitting it in a trade up. Fully crafted by yours truly. Now the last but certainly not least, the Op Onitage. Onitage, Oni I, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Once again, a skin I hit in a trade up 
The trade-up was around $80 and a 5% to hit the Oponitage. There's videos on my channel, by the way, of all these trade-ups if you want to check them out. Now, when I hit the Oponitage, it was around $288. And also, I uh, unboxed the Rocks Hollow myself and then applied it on the scope. They were around $25 at the time of me applying it. And at this current moment, the Oponi Taj, Taji, is selling for around $508. This was also a skin from an operation case, so it's kind of understandable. It's also one of those skins that just constantly keep going up in price. Pretty solid investment in my opinion. Well, in conclusion, there are a lot of skins that are good investments in CSGO. If I were you, I would look at older case collections or older collections in general. Also operation cases, they tend to have very good investment potential. So I would always just look up what are active dropping cases and ignore anything from those cases and look at the discontinued case skins. They tend to do very well as investments. So thank you for everyone that's been here. I appreciate every single one of you and I hope you have a fantastic day. GG.